I'm a big believer in the idea that you cannot be what you cannot see. And in essence, that's what Accenture Women and Walls at DCU is all about. We're highlighting the work of female STEM pioneers through a set of remarkable artworks. And at the same time, we're aiming to inspire tomorrow's female leaders in STEM. The people we see on the walls can tell us about the past and about the people who have paved the way. But sometimes they only tell half the story. Women on Walls began in response to the simple question, where are the women? As a graduate of DCU, it's a particular honour for me to see Accenture's Women on Walls campaign come to DCU. Women on Walls is grounded in the objective of enhancing the visibility of women in STEM and inspiring future generations. And the five selected artists are integral to helping us to achieve this. On behalf of the team here at Business to Arts, I'm delighted that we're at a point in time when we can share information about the five portrait artists that have been commissioned for the next phase of Accenture's Women on Walls at DCU. If you don't know about the Women on Walls campaign, this is the third edition, and we've been fortunate to work with the team at the Royal Irish Academy and with the team at the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland to introduce significant portraits of leaders in the fields of STEM into their art collections. Over the course of the next couple of months, we'll be supporting the artists as they develop their advanced concepts, and we're collectively working to introduce the portraits into DCU towards the end of this year. On behalf of everyone here at Business to Arts, I'd like to extend my sincere congratulations to each of the artists on their appointment to this significant commission.